Hello everybody, my name is Auriga, playing some Battlefield 3 on the PC, and today I am giving you, for the first time ever, me playing in vehicles. What is going on, you might ask, and I am actually asking the same, but just look at this. Minimap awareness, guys, two words, and I am... Um, <laughs> A really great start for a truly interesting match. I, I really, well, I don't really play in vehicles. I don't know if you've noticed, and nope. <laughs> but I don't really play a lot in vehicles, and that has a lot to do with the pace at which you fight while in vehicles. I really think it's slow, and you know me, I, I like to get up in there. I like to, you know, really have some some close action. Maybe not five meter uh, close, but I mean just close action and that is one of the main reasons why I don't really overall like the endgame DLC but that's a whole nother talk and uh, I already had that talk in another video but also one of the reasons I don't really play a lot in the vehicles is because playing a vehicle is pretty much it, it pretty much means playing the engineer and I don't really like the engineer I actually think it's my least liked classes I just uh, me and the engineer doesn't go well uh, I loved playing the engineer in Team Fortress 2 and it's generally a good class in games but in this I am just not feeling it so no engineer for me but I finally yeah I finally just started playing some engineer and I, sp I figured that this LAV was in need of some serious serious assistance so I, I came to aid this guy who later uh, turned out to become a good friend of mine and uh, we are going to play some more vehicle maps together I think but enough about that now the LAV I've always preferred the tank over the LAV because I have to me the tank is just it, it might not have as many rounds but to me it's more efficient um, when I ride in LAVs and in helicopters, I usually prefer to actually be the second gunner. I can really, uh, I, I, I'm really good with minimap awareness, so not being c uh, C4, but well, that actually happens later this round. So amusing, but uh, I'm pre I'm usually pretty good with that. Uh, and here, uh, this guy was just brilliant. Viscoso, shout out. Um, he um, he actually backraged their team all well, together with me, of course, a couple of times, and got a whole lot of kills out of it. And he was just generally a, a good team player, you know. He PTFO'd, so I, I hooked him up on on the battle log page, and yeah, we just hit it off. But what I've come to learn, uh, and what you have probably also learned by now, is that. For some maps, you just can't play certain game modes. Y you know, they're just absolutely broken. And I think that this map, along with CTF, is actually really difficult. Not broken, but what I feared had happened, and that was that the the maps become very vehicle uh, reliant. You know, the the team with the best vehicle drivers, they just tend to win because the more pressure you can put on them, the more difficult it is for them to maintain their defense at their base. And originally, when I heard, when I first heard about CTF, uh, I was stoked, and I, I I didn't really consider that vehicles would be such a big deal in the DLC. But unfortunately, it was, and well, I just hoped that we would have some CTF maps where it would be more infantry reliant because I think that when maps become vehicle reliant it relies on so little teamwork but rather having a couple of good teammates who are fighting the battle for the entire team. Don't get me wrong here, I think it's excellent that good vehicle drivers they get rewarded for all that they're doing for the team but I just think that well, maybe endgame, or at least capture the flag, wasn't really the place for vehicle-based players to really shine. I remember when originally watching the, the trailers with the jeep hunts and the dirt bike runs and hunts. You know, it, it just seemed so appealing, like, oh, okay, light vehicle maps. That, that seems absolutely awesome for this game mode. 
but then they introduced the tanks, the LAVs, and the 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 pilots of different sorts. It ju it just it's I think it's okay and it works out pretty fine usually, but I think that w it would have been a, a greater experience if it was more uh, infantry reliant and, and light armored vehicles like jeeps and dirt bikes and the likes. But you guys have to remember that it's not that I hate the new DLC endgame, not at all actually. I think it's probably the, th the third best DLC. I appreciate it close quarters the most, then Aftermath, and I'd actually say the third is this one. But the reason that I'm not really being too generous with the things that I'm saying about it is probably because... Well, I enjoy that they they followed the whole big open map and a lot of vehicles, original battlefield format maps. I, I, I appreciate that fact, but something that I just can't really get out of my head is that I really, really started loving close quarters games and just, you know, a lot of action comprised in a little, in a very little time span. Not so much so that I would in my opinion downgrade to Call of Duty but enough that I would prefer a new Battlefield, a new Battlefield 4 to be more urban combat based that would just be absolutely awesome maps like Terran Highway and Grand Bazaar and Noser Canals you know all that good shit you know really tight maps that's that's my thing. I really got a weakness for that. But after dying from spawn raping them before, I uh, private messaged uh, that Fiscoso, uh, the guy that I'm now in a squad with, and this is actually the same uh, battle, but uh, you know, we became friends and all that, and we're probably gonna be playing some more endgame together, I think. And he seems to be more on than a lot of my, uh, a lot of my battle log friends. But we went ahead and grabbed another LAV, but we had some problems in this map, and this is something that I didn't really realize, but he became stuck. And apparently it's due to some some map glitches or something, uh, the way the map was designed in the new uh, maps that hasn't been quite fixed yet, if it will ever be. But we got stuck two times, and uh, he's gonna get stuck again in just a second. It's so ridiculous, man. But uh, yeah, I, I've come to not really be impressed with the products DICE and EA makes. You also saw the whole SimCity scandal thing with it not being playable for the first four days and how it's not really. It, it's not made so that it can only be played online. They just made it that way because they wanted to earn money. I mean. The number one concern of EA, at least, I don't know about DICE, but the number one concern about EA is dough. How do they get it? How do they maintain it? And how do they get even more? And they're trying to pa pass off the, like, they're trying to pass off games and earn dough off them without them optimizing the games. And, you know, that's what I've come to expect with EA games. You know, when I was little, I was like, EA, yeah, they make good games, like, challenge everything. I always remember that little thing, that little commercial challenge everything thingy and uh, I associated it with something good when I was little and growing up and playing but today I've really come to expect being buttfucked by EA well not really buttfucked because it's not like the this, like with Diablo 3 where you couldn't play for I don't know how long but at least it's just mediocre games with with absolutely no support and when I, when I say absolutely no support, I am talking about people in Battlefield 3 found errors with the game in the beta stage, which hasn't been fixed, okay? Oh yeah, remember I said we were gonna get C4? This is the part. And look at this guy, he's the baddest motherfucker I've ever been built by. Look at him, he's just like, deal with it. <laughs> so badass. But the point of my whole EA rant was really just, and it's something I think a lot about, EA produces the game series that I've enjoyed the most throughout my life, the Battlefield series. And 
I'm just br very worried about how EA is gonna work and how the Battlefield franchise will be in the future. And this is me dancing the the spawn vehicle dance. If you do this for a, for an extended duration of time, I promise you vehicles will appear. And just give it three seconds. Oh, that's an LAV. <laughs> but yeah, my point was that I'm just a little scared that the whole Battlefield franchise with it seemingly having yearly releases from now on I just I, I expect that the quality will dwindle and that it would be for every release more and more consumer based and dumped down if you get me um, like there would that they, they wouldn't really expand a lot on the whole weapon customization and uh, character customization I don't know I'm, I'm just a little afraid that the quality will dwindle with them having yearly releases and doing DLCs like this because to be honest the whole DLC experience in this game I, I didn't enjoy it I think that I paid for a lot of features that I I used once to try it out and instantly confirmed that it wasn't anything for me and a lot of annoying aspects as well as for instance the lock-on missiles in the game being adjusted to just kill about anything because of the I think that happened in the armored vehicles DLC uh, they uh, they just they completely fucked up vehicles pretty much anyways that's you know that's just an opinion and that's just me babbling but it's just some thoughts on, on Battlefield future. I don't really know where the new Battlefield 4 will take us, but of course it, it haven't just been under development for one year. Of course it's been on, it's been, well hopefully it's been, they, they, it's been under development for a very long time. But I just, I expect to see everything we have in Battlefield, but I expect improvement, I expect more maps if not more some well better maps I, I think a lot of the maps in this game died pretty much instantly some maps are just never being played and I'd like to see something done about that I'd like to see it like Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2 where pretty much every map is equally as popular so that's what I expect, but unfortunately that's very different from what we'll probably get. They say that Battlefield 3 is currently only drawing about 30% of the Frostbite 2 engine or Frostbite 2 engine. And that the Battlefield 4 will allegedly uh, draw 80% of the engine's running power or whatever you... <laughs> it's not really a measurement, but it would consume 80% but will this really affect how good the game looks how good the game works I don't know but I really hope so I really hope that it, it will be a completely different experience instead of you know those series of games where they'll release a part 2 of the game and it will just be the absolute same graphics just with different objectives you know what I mean I hope that we won't get that I hope that we'll get something to really look forward to something astonishing in every fashion something that completely outdo outdoes every other way that you could possibly make a, a first person shooter I really hope for a, a, a wider player ability when it comes to at least uh, weapons because you all know how the M16A3 and the M416 uh, after the, the latest updates have really been you know uh, overall loved by everyone because they are just so much better I, I like to see a bigger range of damage values and weapons and uh, a lot of different drop off ranges so all the weapons stats are not that diff uh, so, so equal and of course I'd like to see a very uh, varied range of RPMs rounds per minute that's probably the, the biggest of my wish list uh, things that's the, the whole weapons I'd like to see them 
really customize the, the shit out of the weapon so you would have some very slow weapons that just dealt shitloads of damage and you'd have some completely ridiculously fast weapons that almost dealt no, no damage. I know that we currently have something like that but I, I'd like to see them improve more on it and more attachments and more equipment but yeah if you'd like I can do a Battlefield 4 wishlist video I guess. I just have so much to say when it comes to Battlefield. But my name is Benorica. I really hope you enjoyed uh, this commentary. I surely did making it. I know there's been a lot of flaws and I'm not really that good at riding in vehicles. And for that I'm sorry. But I hope that it was watchable and enjoyable anyways. And that my morning voice wasn't really that much of an issue. But... Once again, my name has been Arika. It's been a pleasure. See ya.